All right, so it's Gucci, y'all. All right, so today I wanted to talk about uh, long-distance relationships because it was requested, and it's not a long topic, and I just wanted to get something knocked out real quick. Uh, my bad. Let me... Uh... All right. So, wanted to talk about long-distance relationships just because, like, I hear a lot of people be talking about, like, you know, they be interested in them and what do I think about long-distance relationships. Also, somebody had asked me to address African men trying to get at black men or African-American men, like, uh self-identifying black men or men of color who are from like South America, Africa, etc. right? So wanna break you off. Relax and unwind. Could you ever fall in love with a young nigga like myself? And I've been thinking about you. Alright, so, when it comes down to long-distance relationships, this is what I gotta say. This is my commentary, my opinion on the whole ordeal altogether, alright? I think when I hear a lot of people talk about long-distance relationships, usually this comes from you live in an environment where there isn't a lot of population of, of uh, gay, black, or bisexual men that you can choose from, or most of them are DL in your environment. So you don't feel like you have a lot of options. So you may actually partake in conversing with somebody online, which is what it usually starts on one of the apps or well, usually online, like uh, Facebook, Instagram, social media, right? And then y'all get to talking and then eventually y'all get to talking so much that y'all start to feel like y'all in a relationship. And then, you know, there's two different kinds of, of uh, long distance relationships. The one that I'm talking about where y'all never have met and y'all eventually try to make a effort to meet and all that stuff eventually, which I've seen that happen. And then also, and I've also done that one time. Um, and then we did link up and we actually um did not work out but yeah we did link up we had a little bit of a good time but it was a, a headache a lot too um so that's one kind of long distance relationship and then the other kind is where y'all were already together in an environment where y'all was in each other's environment and then eventually something happened that made y'all separate and one of y'all are in a different state country whatever right so on that example of a relationship, if y'all had of a long distance relationship, if y'all had been together and then y'all separated for whatever reason and then y'all trying to make it continue to work, I do think that those are the best ways to have a long distance relationship. However, I don't believe in long distance relationships at all. All right. And here's why I've experienced both of those scenarios when I was younger and just in general, y'all. Even for the relationship where y'all was in each other's space and then y'all ended up separating because of whatever reason, rather it's jail, somebody had to move for their job, whatever the case. What I found out about men is, and hey, y'all could agree to disagree or whatever, but what I've, my experience personally, me and with other men, if I'm not in your environment, out of sight, out of mind, so not necessarily just out of sight, out of mind, but I couldn't consider myself in a relationship committed with somebody and they're not in my space. If I can't get off of work, come pull up on you. If I can't come see you, if we can't, even if it's just to where a nigga only is available to chill on the weekends because he works too much. I don't want to deal with nobody who I can't physically have in my immediate space. You know what I'm saying? So I feel as if Doing this shows a lot of desperation for some kind of connection in any way possible. I don't recommend it because, like I just said, y'all could have been together, split up for whatever reason, and men will not consider themselves cheating on you because you're not there. We will consider us not doing nothing wrong with flirting with other people, dealing with other people, fucking other people because you're not there. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like 
if you want something real, one of the main key components of it being you knowing that it's real is if y'all are in each other's space. I get a lot of people saying, oh, we don't live together. Oh, uh, the goal is that we'll, you know, we, we, we're long distance, but we don't see each other. We've seen each other a couple times. I've came to see him. He's came to see me, whatever the case may be. I'm sorry to break it to y'all. Y'all don't know for sure if somebody is compatible with you until you actually are hanging out with them on a regular basis or y'all live together. All right. All that you come in and out, popping up, popping out, it being a month or two between seeing each other, even two weeks between seeing each other. That's too long. You don't know who this person is. People can fabricate and make up whoever they want to be when it's that long distance and it's that separate. You can literally make up who you want to be for an hour or two if you're dealing with somebody just for even a day, even for a week. You can literally put on a facade for a whole week until that person goes back to their hometown or wherever they're from and then go back to your bullshit. Like it literally does not make it doesn't set up a foundation for a genuine relationship. All right. Also, I've done it the other way where y'all, where we wasn't even in in contact at all. The nigga hit me up on Instagram. I started responding. We got to talking. We think we connecting because we talking about deep shit or real shit or relatable shit, right? All of a sudden, this motherfucker get in my environment because, yeah, in this case, this was somebody that I was dealing with that was living in Louisiana. And this is when I was in Kansas City. I let the nigga come out, stay with me or visit me. But it ended up turning to where we let him. I decided we decided uh, for him to stay a little bit longer than what he decided, right? And it was just kind of like we arguing all the time, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not gonna put everything off on him, you know, but just to go to say like I didn't know certain shit about him until he got there. When he got there, there was this dude blowing his phone up. He up in my crib. I literally just picked this nigga up from the airport. He got some dude blowing his phone up constantly. Kind of find out it was a dude that he had left me for. I mean, left for me. Like, there was a dude that he was dealing with in Louisiana. And he left the nigga, came out with me, and this nigga's blowing him up. And the nigga paid for his way and everything from what I found out. After I found out later, the nigga paid his way. He was in a relationship with the nigga. He left the nigga, came out with me, made me think he was single the whole time, all this other shit. What I'm saying is that y'all don't know who these people is when y'all over the phone. It don't, it's not just online. Y'all can confirm that the person's real, okay? It doesn't always have to be a catfish situation. Y'all can confirm that the person's real, and the nigga still ain't what he said he was. He might be who he say he is, but that doesn't mean he is who he says he, he was or says that he... That he he doesn't have to add up to what he says he is because it's not in person. It's easy to lie like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I would say I don't recommend it on either end. And all the stories, when I hear about them, they seem to be childish to me because when you really want something genuine, something um, lasting, when you for sure about what you want, you're not going to go for uh, long distance. That's going to be a deal breaker for you. I feel like people who deal with long distance, y'all are not where y'all want to be in life. Y'all don't know who y'all are. Y'all might be figuring things out, trying to get to certain points. You know what I'm saying? And you just dealing with something that's fun and temporary at the moment or whatever. I just feel like people who deal with long distance are either uncertain, insecure, not aware of what they want, confused about what they want, or they're in a place in their life where they're just in a limbo area or they're just in a like in a temporary state. Or they're confused about what, what to do next or something. You know what I'm saying? So they'll be willing to talk to somebody over line because they're over the phone all the time because they don't have the real commitment to give nobody in their environment anyway. Like, that's the first thing I need to be looking at. Why you got so much time to sit up on the phone with me and talk to me when you are literally around all these other available dudes just like them? So it's a mutual issue that y'all sharing because y'all both have options around y'all now. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if it's in the circumstance where you live in an environment where sexual, where gay sexuality or whatever is not accepted and it's like dangerous for you to explore and shit, then that's another story. And in those cases, I recommend that you move somewhere. Get out of there. I don't recommend nobody's quality of life being low. 
I don't care what nobody say. If you are in an environment where you can't be black, get up out of there and go somewhere where you can be black. If you're in an environment somewhere where you can't be gay, get up out of there and get, and get in an environment where you can be gay. Like straight up, life is too short. We all got one to live and it's your responsibility to make sure that you can live that to the fullest. You know what I'm saying? So if you in that environment, I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you. There's no other options but for you to be moving around, all right? And um, for the ones that are overseas but you're still black and you are looking for an African-American dude, I would say don't, uh, so don't focus on African-American dudes. Focus on just black men or men of color because... African American dudes, like I didn't already said numerous of times, got a lot of shit that they need to work on as a whole. And um, I get a lot of what y'all going through. I can relate when it comes to foreign shit because I haven't done my story time about my my backstory in my life, but I will, and y'all will get to understand more rel relatability about that. But I am mixed as well, but I am black. But because of the fact that I have certain features that a lot of black people may not have. I have texturism features that a lot of black people don't have. I've dealt with a lot of the same stuff that y'all deal with. Even though I'm from here, I've been mistaken to be not from here, like all the time. Everywhere I go, people think I'm either Ethiopian, um, some countries in South America, or like I'm a Latino dude, like Latin. I ain't Latin either, you know what I'm saying? But it just goes to show that I'm exotic or whatever, but I get it. Foreign people are considered exotic to African-American dudes, and they will look at you like you are something else and not consider you black, so they might not go for you uh, because they feel like the relatability won't be there. You know what I'm saying? But um, a lot of them also will like you because you got foreign features, but you're still black, you know? So I'm going to make a more in-depth video about that, but this one I just wanted to tap on and highlight long-distance relationships. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, what else did I want to say to the foreign dudes? Um, I'm curious why y'all leave y'all's country and come to America besides all the stuff that we hear. Is it really that bad over there or what? Because I feel like a lot of us be trying to get, we rather come to y'all. We rather get our passport and come to Brazil or something, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to, but I'll be hearing stories about where y'all be from and them beautiful environments be some of the dangerous, most dangerous environments as well. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely tap on that a little bit more. But uh, whoever is foreign and all that, go ahead and comment. Let me know what y'all uh, want me to actually highlight in the video about what y'all want me to talk about. And uh, yeah, everybody else, let me know what y'all think about this one i'll see you on the next one like comment subscribe hey no i don't give a fuck about what anyone say uh, no i don't give a fuck about what anyone say hey. baby uh, how much i really take